Hello everyone. Oh wait. <laughs> Hello everyone. Welcome back. Nope. Try it again. Nope. Hello everyone. Welcome back. I'm your host, Ricardo Jimenez. And welcome back to another episode of Memes of the Week. <laughs> Here's the first meme of this week, and look at this, it's PewDiePie, the guy I'm trying to rip off. Uh, what does it say? YouTube removing the dislike button is a violation of freedom of speech. And PewDiePie says, and that's a fact. Yes! <laughs> that, that was like Trump hat, but nope, nope. I don't think PewDiePie, does PewDiePie, does PewDiePie support Trump? I'm curious about that. What about the meme itself? Yeah, it's a violation of free speech, it is. Is a violation because we write people to dislike a button to dislike. YouTube is probably salty because their most disliked video on, on their platform is their own. That's really why they're probably gonna get rid of it if they are, which I doubt they will. It's a violation of free speech. Matt, me enjoying we bo boxing. <laughs> that would have made more sense if I said we uh, tennis. But I'm assuming Matt is that guy who's like um. You know, he has the oval head, and he's just, like, this really good player. Yeah, it's basically... Yeah, I played Wii Sports, I know what it is, back in 2006, 2007, back in the olden days. I, I know, it's, this is relatable. The teacher says a project will take weeks to complete, and you do it the morning before it's due. <laughs> so many people. Because, I, this is from my personal experience, this is what always happens. You can just do it the morning before. Sure, it's not gonna look great. You know, I spent weeks on it. Niggas half ass it the, the night before the things do, and it's like, well, we both handed the project, but you have to ass it, and that's basically the face they make. <laughs> Get a grade for it for a half ass project that you could have spent weeks on. <laughs> oh, there's so many people. This is sometimes me. Alright, this is sometimes what I do. <laughs> We really are effed. I mean, World War 3 could break out any day, and this, and we'd all be like, this is so sad. Alexa, play Despacito. I, w I mean, I thought everyone knows, but I, I would play something else. I don't know what, but. I don't, I don't, I don't, I did not prepare for this gag, but. I don't know what else I would play. I'll play something else that's not Despacito, because I actually did play Despacito. Not, not my Alexa, but Kevin on the bot we have on our Discord server, which you should join. Samaritan Discord channel, advertising in the memes of the week, um, I was like, Alexa, play Despacito, and Kevin just played it on the, the music bot, pretty funny, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, say dad, <laughs> mother ever, <laughs> same thing, yeah, you know, hopefully my, my child, when he's born, says, says mother effer to me, that, that, that would, that would be my, that would make my fatherhood start off the journey of being a father, my child's cursing at me. I think I did my job right. I don't know what happened in the womb, but whatever we did, it must have uh, been right. Oh, look at this. We have a spoiler meme. Um, I know what this is because I looked at it. <laughs> because I looked at all these memes before. Over the week, but... Is this what? Yes, it's... It's Thanos. What is it? Pokemon cards? I don't know. But the spoiler things are so annoying to me. Now, this is something that Jordan would do. Not sucking toes, because Jordan's thing, if you don't watch our videos from the past, um, if you don't watch the live streams, or if you don't watch Jordan's channel, which you should watch, watch, because it is funny, but, um, he says give me your toes to other people in Fortnite when he's playing in Playgrounds mode. When he's wanting people, he says occasionally, give me your toes. Which, imagine this is Jordan's face, this is Jordan. He, I'm... The person gave him his toes. I'm guessing Jordan sucks on people's toes. I don't know. I don't know his life. I don't know. Jesus, do you know his life? You probably do because you're like Santa Claus watching everyone, but... I don't know if he does that. Do you want to hear a joke about ghosts? I really don't. That's the spirit. <laughs> I think that's, that's my face one. <laughs> like, I really don't want to hear a joke. And they say a joke. And it's like... No, 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 Tim, no. Shut up. Leave the office face. You are a disappointment to this community. You're an ass. Leave. You're fired. Woo! 
Ooh, I got triggered there. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yes, a sub to PewDiePie from Mr. Beast. They post this on Twitter. What is it? The official e ESPN. I actually tweeted this about sub to PewDiePie with you were helping Pew and Mr. Beast is helping PewDiePie again. The guy I'm trying to rip off with this series. We need to support. I support PewDiePie. Why is he making this series? Actually, it's half of that. Other reasons, because I really want to. I like reviewing memes. But, subscribe to PewDiePie if you haven't. I wonder one day if, to a point, that no one else can subscribe to PewDiePie, unless you make another account, because if everyone wants to subscribe to PewDiePie, then you can't go up any higher. Unless, because how many people care about PewDiePie enough to subscribe? Because not a lot of people enjoy this. But the whole, like, subscriber thing, like, why do I want to support him? Why do I want to subscribe to him? I don't like his content. His content sucks. I mean, that's kind of thing, you know. Soon as we get to a point where it's like, no one's going to be able to, you can't, no one, no one else is going to subscribe to him. It's going to go to that point eventually. I don't know when. Because maybe, maybe there'll always be people who want to subscribe. I don't know. Next generation are going to subscribe to him. Never ending cycle. Hopefully he gets to 100 mil before. G series does. Ah, uh, yes, a very simple math equation. What is this? But describe a process that could be used to create a simple door. And <laughs> that's right. I don't know why he's teaching us. Like, what? You don't play Minecraft? That was a rave back in back in the day. You know how to make a door? Uh, if I was a teacher, I would just give this guy extra credit. The kid extra credit. I'll be like, hey, here's like 15 extra credit points. That, that's something that's out of the box. You know, that's pretty cool. That, <laughs> I love, the kids, pro the mo children's process of stuff. I don't know if you're doing it, like, I don't know if you're doing it purposely or accidentally. I don't know. Probably purposely just to mess with the teacher. Here's another mass rail, a test way problem. A uh, Bob has 36 candy bars. He eats 29. What does he have now? He has diabetes. Bob has diabetes. Excuse me, no I don't. Bob does not have diabetes. I'm pretty sure he can't physically get diabetes. I don't think Minecraft characters can get diabetes. <laughs> I don't know if any Minecraft character got diabetes. But Bob, I'm pretty sure Bob does not have diabetes. I would know by now if he had diabetes. But I probably need to talk to him again about that. I need to do a monthly checkup because you never know. You could... Bob... Hex could have diabetes. You never know. Uh, it's time for Thomas to leave. <laughs> he has seen enough. What has Thomas seen? Have you seen... Has he seen sex? Have you seen those stick figure people have sex? Is that what he's seen? That's what I'm assuming. Why else would Thomas want to leave? I mean, he's seen, Thomas has seen a lot over the decades. Has Thomas been around for decades? Yeah, he has. He's been around for decades. You've seen a lot of stuff, but have seen, seen people have sex. That, that's his breaking point. That's when he's gonna have trauma. He's gonna be very, very... His whole life's turned upside down now. He's just crazy now. All because of him seeing sex. Thanos snaps. Shaggy, have, has anyone seen Scooby-Doo? Thanos. <laughs> you know, Shaggy could probably kill Thanos really easily with 2% 2 to 3% of his power. I can see that. Uh, that, that's kind of a, at this moment he knew he screwed up kind of thing, and that some, um, Sam shouldn't, he should have considered when he snapped that Scooby-Doo could have been gone, or well, he probably realized that if he snapped, Shaggy could have been gone, but I don't think, I think Shaggy can, uh, prevent being snapped, like, he's more powerful than the snap himself, like, he can't be dusted, he can't fade away, because he's, he's using, he has to use 5% of his power in order to keep himself alive, or kind of keep himself not being snapped. During that moment, you know, he's probably, he's probably gonna use all. So once Scooby Doo's gone, he's gonna release all 100% of his power, and Thanos is screwed over. The whole universe is probably gonna be consumed and exploded and like sent into millions of dimensions. Who knows what? Who knows what, what Shag's like at 100% power? I don't think we even fathom that. Uh, we can make, we can make uh, this jump. Just the don't to look down. <laughs> yeah. There's all these Yoshi's because. Oh my god, that's dark. When you play Mario, you don't expect when when you when you, you jump off a Yoshi, you don't know how many Yoshis are down there because how many times you try doing that. If they actually show that in the game itself, ah, uh, that would be terrifying, but more realistic. 
I think all the Yoshis down there. <laughs> it's like, well, we know how many times Mario's tried to make this jump. So is he gonna make this one? I, I doubt he will, because um, I think Mario's plan is to create a make level Yoshis right here. So he can just walk across. It only took about like a hundred to like a thousand Yoshis, but uh, like a couple hundred Yoshis, but he managed to get across very safely. <laughs> oh, that's an oof. 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 <laughs> Pixar presents Finding Hikro. <laughs> I, I, I'll, the, 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 that, that's incredible. Uh, I'm just gonna go away from that. You know, they have Minecraft and Fortnite, and over time, you know, this, uh, Fortnite's just fading away, and it's saying to itself, this is some BS. Minecraft is an everlasting game, while Fortnite is just a old piece of crap that will eventually fade away. Like it or not, this is history right here, folks. The do list, nothing. And I crossed it off, because I already did that. I'm, well, technically I'm doing something, but... Technically I'm doing nothing at the same time. Doing something, but nothing. Hey, that's the end of the video. I realize that there's nothing else we are looking at, so I'm gonna end this video now. Hopefully you enjoyed this week's memes. Um, if you guys have enjoyed this video, don't want to hit the like button and subscribe. I'm gonna go now, so bye. Yeah, I confess, father, I confess.